Hey everyone, uh, Jeremy here. Um, we're uh, it's Friday night, and we're going to create some art. Uh, you can see I'm super prepared. I'm ready to go, uh, and uh, I think we're just going to jump into it tonight. Um, I don't have any announcements or anything like that. Um, if you're wondering what we're working on tonight, I am trying to build a portfolio of uh, pet uh, portraits in my new kind of style with uh, pastel pencils. So uh, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to work on another pet portrait, which I think will be fun. Hopefully you guys won't get bored by, by that. Um, but anyway, um, I've got all my stuff set up here. Uh, we're going to do a German Shepherd uh, dog, and um, we're going to do it in pastel pencil. Um, if you had watched my earlier videos, uh, there's kind of like an explanation of the process for prepping the paper. Um, I, I do give it this kind of like sandpaper effect. So just to kind of fill you in, that's what we're going to be working with. So if you're in the chat, feel free to jump in and, and chat with me. Otherwise, I'm just going to get started. Um, the last couple of pictures I've done took a little while. So I'm just going to, you know, get started right away. I do have my bourbon tonight. As you can see, I've been drinking it already. One of these days I won't babble and I'll just make sense. Yeah, Mama Q, it's Friday already. It's, it's crazy. Hey, Packer, how's it going? Um, so I'm just going to start by adding some color to uh, this dog's face. Kind of figure out where all it's going to be. And, you know, sometimes when I start with these things, um, I kind of start in a particular spot. I think on this one, I'm just going to apply all the colors like wherever they belong and just kind of go from there. Hey, Marble, how's it going? Yeah, you finally got it when I first started. It's not the best part. The best part is, um, you know, like when I've got some progress made. It always kind of looks ugly before I get going. I forgot that this sounds like sandpaper. But yeah, so uh, these are some colored pencils. These are my best colored pencils. I'm using these for like kind of um, the large areas of color uh, just because they're like less expensive and... Um, you know, I don't, I don't feel like I'm wasting them by applying like a lot of color. So this is a pretty big dog's face. So it may take a little bit. <laughs> good. Hope everybody had a good, I hope everybody had a good week. Um, I know mine was okay. It was pretty busy. Had a lot to do, but. I think this is a good good place to start is like on his um on his actual cheek area. A lot of times I start with the ears. I'm not feeling like an ear kind of day. So again, what I really like about the pastel pencils is you can just kind of blend it with your your uh, fingers. You don't need any special tools or anything like that. I do think I'm going to get started on the eyes just to give you guys something to look at, I guess. Yeah, this is where I'm going to put his eye. Now, remember the first couple of steps, there's really no detail involved. It's just putting down a bunch of color. But I am going to add a little bit of detail to this eye just to get it started. Um, like I said, it, it's a German Shepherd. Uh, it's not one of my dogs. I actually found this picture on um, Unsplash, which is a great resource for like uh, images to work with. Like if you're ever looking for pictures to to work with, they've got they've got some pretty good pictures of like people, pets. Um, it's just a great resource. They're all free. Like, they don't care what you do with them. So I don't mind copying them. The great thing about these pastels is they're called soft pastels, but they really are soft. They kind of give a soft look to your picture. Yeah, so um, it is Father's Day weekend, so don't forget the dads out there. Draw him a picture.
Hey, willy nilly. Oh, you guys come to see yet another dog picture. Um, I try. I was thinking of other things to draw today, but I am kind of trying to get this uh, portfolio of dogs done. Um, I had a bunch of dog pictures in charcoal, but I wanted to uh, do another set of pictures in like the pastels because I enjoy the pastels a little bit more these days, just because of the color and stuff involved. Um, so I may return back to using charcoal at some point. But for now, I just kind of want to make a bunch of pastel pictures. Um, if you guys have been hanging out with me since January, which many of you guys have, you know I go through these phases where I do a lot of the same type of stuff for a while, and then I kind of get bored with it and abandon it. But these pastel pictures, um, there's a... There's a couple of other artists that I follow. I, I can't think of any other names off the top of my head, but they do really cool work. And they've kind of inspired me to do better work. <laughs> so, you know, the art world isn't competitive, really. Um, everybody's doing their own thing. But when you see somebody who does really cool stuff and you're like, hey, you know, I, I bet you I could do that too. You do kind of, you're not really competitive about it, but you do kind of want to, do a little bit better, if that makes sense. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm always looking for uh, um, uh, dogs to work with. So, uh, let's see, is Lorraine in here? I, I went through my emails and I found a, a, some uh, pictures of uh, pets that she had sent me. So, I'm probably going to work on those at some point. Um, I had forgotten that I even got those emails. But... Yeah, I mean, send me an email. I, I can't guarantee you that I'm going to do, um, you know, like the picture you sent me just because, like, I, I don't know. I, I pick different pictures based on, like, whatever I'm working on at the time. But, you know, chances are I, I will get around to it. Um, a lot of you guys have been pretty good about sending me pictures of your pets, and, and they are super inspiring, so... Let's see, I need an orange. Where's one? Not dark enough. Yeah, this. There we go. But yeah, it is uh it is Father's Day weekend. I think I'm gonna go kayaking with my dad again. Like um a couple of weeks back I went kayaking with him. I think I think I'm gonna do that. If, if he's not otherwise occupied. I do have, like, some siblings. I have some brothers and stuff. They might steal them. I'm his favorite, though. Completely. Let's see. I mean, I'm, a, I'm everybody's favorite. Why? Of course. Of course I'm my dad's favorite. I don't know. We joke. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I mean, you can you can send me you can send me your dogs. I might tackle them. It may, it may be a little bit. Like I said, um, I have my hands full with like my day job, and then um, you know, like like I said, I, I pick different pictures depending on like what I'm working on. But yeah, I mean, absolutely, uh, send me pictures. I may get around to it. And if I don't, don't, don't like hold it against me or anything like that. It's, it's just that, you know, time constraints and stuff like that. But sometimes I go on like Reddit and, um, they have a draw me subreddit there. Sometimes I go on there and just find some people or pets or something to work with there. So not a big deal. See. But yeah, if, if your friend, um, uh, has some some pets that you guys want me to do let me know never know <laughs> but yeah so like i mean you know i'll draw them i'll, I'll put them up on my wall Thank you. 
I'm going to use my grid pencil for this. Okay. Because it's softer and can probably work over. Yeah. So these, um, these Derwent pastels are really good because, um, they let you work in, um, layers over your other pastel pencils. Um, so I highly recommend them. Like I said, I've got a cheap set of pastel pencils and they're fine for doing like the background work or whatever. But if you want to add some layers and details and stuff like that, they're not the best. Um, I'm, I'm not even sure the name brand of these other pencils. They're okay. Don't get me wrong. They were super cheap. They didn't cost me much. Oh, let's see. I'm like switching from a, a lot of pencils back and forth here. So in this case, I went with like an underpainting of like gray. I mean, I call it an underpainting because like it is paint and it does go under it. But technically, I'm just, I should really just be calling it tone paper because that's all I'm really doing is I'm just giving the paper some tone so that, you know, if there's a piece that I don't really color in or something like that, it's fine because it's not like white. Oh, it, it, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, it's totally fine. Um, like I said, I wouldn't feel any pressure because if I am under, like, if I don't have the time to do it, I just won't do it. But my email address is like on my about page. So like if, if anybody out there wants to send me something in a uh, picture, they, they recommend or something like that. That's cool. I don't have a problem with that, but if you don't, that's fine too. I, I'm more than happy to go find my own pictures. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty good weekend. I don't know if you guys are into, like, um, comic book movies and stuff, but The Flash opens this weekend. Hey, kid, how's it going? We're working on another doggo picture because I need more in my portfolio. And, and this new style of pastel picture. Go ahead pencils i can't speak tonight it's because i'm drinking all this bourbon <laughs> the only downside to these uh pastel pictures is they take so long um like the last one i did took like um a total of four hours the one before that took like two hours So it does require a bit of a commitment. It helps though that um, I've gotten in the habit. Like I, I never used to do this. Like I, 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 I'm not really like OCD or anything like that, but I like to uh, work on something until it's done. And it's very tough for me to find a stopping point and put it away. Um, but I've kind of broke myself of that habit. Like I'll, uh, I'll work on something. I got myself a little um, like a travel board um so that i can take pictures with me and uh work on them and and not in my um my office space or my drawing space or whatever but i can like watch tv while i'm working or, or something like that i think that that's helpful kind of wanted to reinforce my little sketch that i did earlier and just get some uh Get some details in here as far as like where everything is. So this eye here is in profile, so you wouldn't really see it. Yeah, I can't ever have too many doggo pics. Pics. Plus, I mean, I, I mean, I mentioned basically every stream, but that is where I want to kind of specialize in. Like, I want to do other pictures. I don't want to just do the, uh, wildlife and and pets and stuff, but. 
I do kind of want to focus on wildlife and pets because I really enjoy doing them. Um, obviously, I'm trying to get better at doing like human portraits too, but I think I have a long road to, ahead of me there. One of these days, I'll draw a really good like human portrait. But I've just been doing faces. I, I don't really want to do just faces either. I want to, on like the human portraits, I want to put them in like a uh, like a setting like uh with some i don't know like a like a room or something that that kind of tells a story so i've got a lot of work to do before i'm ever good at doing human portraits to the degree i want to be able to i know i got my sound settings turned down so you guys can't hear the scraping against the paper but i really love that it's it's almost like um i don't know you're you're scraping uh scraping something off of something i don't i don't have an example Oh, yeah, I was talking about the Flash movie. Um, yeah, Flash movie comes out this uh, weekend, or it's already in theaters. I'm going to go and see it tomorrow. I think it's going to be good. Um, I think this is the last DC movie that they're going to make in this style. Like, I think um, uh, James Gunn takes over from here, and it's going to be, like, totally different. But it still looks like a lot of fun, and it's got the original uh, uh, Michael Keaton Batman, which is going to be cool. I love that, man. Like, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more, uh, uh, what's his name, Robert Pattinson's uh, Batman movies. But I've always had, like, a like a fondness for the, uh, the old Batman with Michael Keaton. So for him to reprise his role, I think that's going to be kind of cool. Yeah, um, it's tough. Do you do you pick a sh like a song when you go to make your short? I think it just tries to put them both together. I haven't done that. I've only picked, like on my shorts. I've only ever, ever like really just chose songs. I haven't I haven't tried to talk over them. I really need to though. Like I don't know. I just need to get better at doing making videos in general. I like the drawing part of it, the making the videos part. I don't know. Let's see, I need kind of a pink, but I don't want it like a, a bold pink. I want it like kind of a soft pink. I'm gonna go with this one. See if I can get away with that. So I'm trying to keep it from being like a really strong, ugly face, but there are parts of this that aren't going to look right at first. Plus the lighting is not all that great. Freddy Fosbear Galatix. That's a cool name. Hey, Sticky Raid. Cool. Welcome back. You can't hear the scraping, Mama Q. If you could hear the scraping, that'd be kind of cool. What I don't want you to hear is my dogs when they're barking or like um, snoring. My dogs snore a lot. My dad sounds. I don't know what that is. So the other great thing about these uh, pastel pencils is, like, you can kind of see they're really great for making fur, like on dogs. That's why that's why I've been doing like so many dog portraits. Well, that's not the only reason, but that's one of the reasons why I enjoy using them for dog portraits because they do kind of like when you blend them out, they get really soft and 
they do have like kind of this fur like quality to them. Um, and then, like I said, you can you can just keep building up the layers, and then your outer layer ends up with um, all the actual um, individual hairs of the fur. Yeah. So you can put in as little or as much detail as you want. Entirely up to you. I do like this gray background. I'm glad, I'm glad I chose the gray. I was on the fence. I don't usually like things this dark, but I think it works with the orange on the dog's fur here. Orangish, orangish brown. Oh, you can hear it? Good. It's like scraping, um, I don't know, like if you, um, I don't know, spill paint on the floor or something like that and you're trying to clean it up. Like the paint dried because you forgot about it or something. I don't know. I don't want to say it sounds like, you know, somebody scraping food off their plate or whatever, because like, I don't want to give away that that's how I eat, but. So this is another short haired dog. And um, that means there's a lot of detail in its face. Super cute dog though. I have not met an ugly dog. Like there are some dogs that look ugly just as a breed, but they're still super cute. Like, I don't know, like like pugs. I wouldn't say that pugs are going to win any beauty contest, but they're super cute. Like everybody can look at a golden retriever and be like, ah, oh. and you know, it takes a special kind of person to look at a, um, like a pug and be like, oh, super cute. Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas are super cute. Little, little dogs. I don't, I don't see myself with like a little dog, but like I, I like a big dog that you can just kind of pal around with, um, or a mid-sized dog. I don't, I don't need a big dog. Like, I don't, I don't want like a, um, a Great Dane or something like that. I feel like that's too much work. Uh, my neighbor has a Great Dane and it's always getting out and running down the street. And it's so funny because they try to chase it, but it's, it's basically a horse. Great Danes are huge. I didn't intend to put so much uh, detail in the face already, but I'm just going to go with it. Actually, it's not that bad. Like when you're doing a live stream, I think it's kind of important to get to the uh, detailed part quicker than than like if you're working on your own. Like if you're working on your own, it really doesn't matter because nobody really sees it until the end anyway. Um, but when you're doing a live stream, it, you're kind of responsible for people's interests, I guess. I don't know. I think I need like a, yeah, it's lighter yellow, I think. That's an example of the kind of pencil that sucks. I'll go with this one. Yeah. It's this real light ridge right above the eye. I like it. It's cool.
Right. Well, that looks like a that looks like an eyeball to me. That's a thief on this. Anybody got, got any cool plans for the weekend or anything? Does anyone in here know what a mogwai is? That's what I was going to draw tonight um, before I ended up settling on uh, increasing my portfolio of dogs. I was going to draw a mogwai. And some of you guys might be too young for this, but um, mogwais were gr the movie Gremlins. Um, it came out in the eighties. So like if you're, if you're too young, you probably have never seen that movie. Um, but those of you who have seen gremlins, yeah, gremlins. Okay, great. Uh, they have a new animated series on HBO. Like I was surprised to see it, but they turned, they turned that movie into like an animated series. Yeah. Oh, do a cat. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I need to do a cat. Maybe I'll do a cat next time. But yeah, I was going to do Gizmo. Um, and I might still do Gizmo. I thought that would be kind of fun. But if nobody knows what I'm talking about, then <laughs> it probably wouldn't be. But uh, yeah, so they, they, they turned that uh, whole concept of Gremlins into an animated show on HBO. And I, I started watching it just out of curiosity. And now I'm kind of hooked. It, it's pretty good. Like, it, it's relatable no matter how old you are, I think. I think that younger people would enjoy it as well. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, don't feed them after midnight. Um, they go over all those rules in the uh, in the show too, so it's 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 just like the original. Um, don't feed them after midnight. No bright lights, especially sunlight, it'll kill them. Don't get them wet because they multiply. Yep, they kept all that. It's uh it's basically I don't know. It's like a little bit of a nostalgia. I don't think they should be going back and just making reboots of everything that used to be popular, but I like it. I, I think it's pretty good. Um, it's obviously made for, for uh, kids, but, you know, I'm an adult. I can enjoy it, too. Really soft bit of fur on the snout here. I think this is going to turn out nice. I always say that, and sometimes it doesn't, but I think this one's going to turn out nice. Positive thinking, right, guys? Yeah, um, this is not a hedgehog, Freddy. This is a dog. But hey, if you think it's a hedgehog, go for it. I feel like art can be interpretive. If you start drawing a hedgehog when you set out to draw a dog, that's fine. Just draw the best hedgehog dog you can. That's the way I see it. This is Ohio. Hmm. Well, I'm in Kentucky, so I go up to Ohio sometimes. <laughs> so in Ohio, okay, everything's backwards in Ohio. I get it. I think I might have to tinker with my video quality. It always seems to be like 
on a delay. And I always forget to check that out before I come on, go live. Honestly, I I I end I know that I'm supposed to go live, but I end up waiting until the last minute to get prepared for it, and every single time. So I kind of suck at being prepared for these things. At least this time I was kind of prepared and I knew what dog I was going to draw. That that's helpful. My dog's over there, like, snoring. Cute. So, the anatomy of a, a dog you have to pay attention to. So, they've got kind of like this cheekbone that's different than human beings. It kind of runs along the ridge of the snout. And it does, especially like if the dog is lean, like uh, this German Shepherd, it does affect the, the contour of the uh, face. This dog has like a lot of light along that ridge. But it's almost like stipple art stipple art when it's um when it's furthest uh short. You're you're basically almost drawing dots instead of lines. But that's cool. I mean people seem to enjoy that kind of level of detail, so Yeah, that's gonna be a super cute dog though. End up holding like two or three pencils in my hand at one time while I'm working. Yeah, I think I'm going to take my dad kayaking, whether he wants to or not. And then maybe out there at dinner. Some appreciation. Dreams face reveal video is gone. I don't know what you're talking about. But I'm sure it's something... So, hopefully you don't expect me to have a comment about it because I don't know what you're talking about. Right, so I am going to blend 
some of this stuff. So it's not such a hard line. I do deserve one million so thanks thank you for recognizing. <laughs> I don't deserve one million subs. I appreciate the thought though. One day, one day I'll actually be a useful channel, like actually have important things to talk about, but I'm not there yet. You guys have to wait for all of that. Just a guy who likes drawing pictures. Not very good at the instruction part or finding things to talk about. I do enjoy doing the live stream stuff though. Nice just hanging out with people. Um, yeah, I think there's some pretty good colors up in here. And if I can just remember what all I did on this here so I can do the other one. Bye, Mama Q. Yeah, I'll definitely put this up uh, on the community tab like I usually do. So I appreciate you hanging out with me. I know that you're a busy lady. Thanks, Marble Rose. I appreciate that. Hey, I've been checking out some of your artwork lately. Um, that's that's pretty cool stuff. Like, um, I like the um, the style of your uh, your portraits that you're doing. I like that every time on your shorts, um, you do. Uh, well, I can't show it because the video's lagging, but um, you do that little hand wave thing uh, before the uh, before you start doing the um, the short. I, I like that. I wish this video wasn't lagging. That's frustrating. I'm going to fix that. I, I promise you guys that we'll fix that for the next time. Even if I have to get a new computer. I don't think there's anything else running. Yeah, I mean they're 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 really cool. I enjoy watching this. I probably haven't seen all of them, but the ones that you've been posting recently, I, I you know, whenever they're on, I, I take the time to uh, watch them. They're pretty cool. Let's see, I think. Mouth area will end right around here. Oh, well, I am not somebody uh, that you should consider like an expert on anything, but I appreciate that you, uh, you like my compliment. It's well learned, you know, it is really cool stuff. Like, I wish, um, I wish I could put that kind of style stylization into my own work. So like I try to draw things and um, every now and then I, I can pull off like a loose style because I feel comfortable doing that. Like, especially with those uh, charcoal portraits that I've been doing, um, you know, those don't take me very long and, and they're very loose and I just kind of crank them out. That's the most stylistic work I do. The rest of it, I don't know, it, it's more like, realism and stuff like that like if i wanted to draw like a character and and do it like it's stylized as the uh, stuff that you've been doing i don't know i think i would struggle with that to be honest like i would end up like making it too on the realism side um and like not have those kind of like loose stylistic uh lines that you've got yeah oh okay yeah sure 
Um, I'll probably be here for uh, like another two hours. So if anybody needs to take a break, feel free. I'll, I'll be here. Here until it's done, especially on Friday night. Like I'll I'll stay up and get this done. Quite a bit of like a dog face to go though. So it really is just applying pencil, blending it out. Like basically every layer that you do. You would want to blend out just to keep it soft. And then, you know, when you come back and do like, um, so there's like three different layers, I think, and eh, maybe four, I don't know. I'm not going to count, but there's a layer for, you know, just the general color in the background. That's, that's your underpainting. Um, there's, a like a midtone layer. Generally, you'll want to keep that soft. And by midtone, I just mean like the basic colors of your picture, not the details, not all the stuff that you're putting over it. Um, that kind of stuff you want to keep soft. Um, then there is the de what I what I would consider the detail layer, and that stuff is where you start actually, you know, putting in things like I don't know, like the pupil on his eyes or like the reflections um the little short tufts of fur all of those things that make it like hyper realistic that's your um detail layer as i would call it so all the layers below the detail layer i would consider prime candidates for keeping it nice and soft so you would blend that kind of stuff out um, you wouldn't worry about too much detail in that layer. You would just make sure that you get all your tones correct, you know, your shadows and things of that nature. It's only when you get into that top layer that you really need to, like, stop trying to sketch and actually take your time and put in, you know, the details. Everything else you should probably just keep super soft. Especially when working with these uh, pastel pencils, when you keep it really super soft, it just comes out looking, I don't know, soft. One of these days I'll get a decent video going where it's not lagging. So frustrating. Um, can't decide if it's my camera or if it's my computer. I think it's my computer. Hey, welcome back, uh, Fozbear. I don't know if I should call you Fe Freddy or Fozbear. Let me know if you have a preference. Yeah, so on these lower layers, you just kind of want to, I mean, you can just kind of just hatch in some color. Because all you're going to do is end up smoothing all of that out anyway. Coming over it with more color. Galactics. That one's hard to say though for me. Galag Galactics. Galactics. Ah, that's tough. I'm used to saying like Galactic or Galactus. Like the uh planet eater from a uh, Marvel. But I will try it just for you. Glag glag ticks. <laughs> Hopefully you're not offended by my inability to say it. Uh, 
All right, collected. I, I can say that. Thanks. Galactus from Fortnite. There you go. I haven't played Fortnite in a while. Um, I know a lot of people who do, though. So the idea is once you get in, you know, some basic color there, then you can come back and kind of like start working the shadows. Get some highlights in, like on the top of this dog. There's some blue highlights. I guess it's reflecting sky or something like that. So I'm going to pencil that in. Even though it seems strange that there'd be blue on the end of his nose. Dog's nose are wet and super shiny sometimes. Just the way it goes. Now, as an artist, you can kind of color correct this stuff. So, like, if it seems weird that the dog has a blue nose, you don't have to be... Um, completely accurate to your reference picture and you can do whatever you want but I'm just going to go ahead and do it like the uh, reference photo Yeah, it looks like my camera finally caught up. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to shut off if I don't plug this thing in. There you go. Bear with me a moment. Got to plug my laptop in. I am so prepared today. <laughs> This is the way it always seems to be on Friday. So like on Tuesdays when I do my live stream, um, I'm a lot more prepared. Like I, I spent more of the day thinking about what I'm going to do. Come Friday, I'm just happy that it's the weekend. I'm sure you guys can relate to that. Not that I'm phoning it in on Fridays, but I am drinking while I'm doing this. So like. Fridays are for fun. Um, one of these days, I may end up doing like a like a live stream from the local pub. That might be that might be fun. Hey, uh, uh Galactic. You said you're from Ohio. Um, I go up to Cincinnati a lot. Uh, you from that area or further up north or what? I've got a niece and nephew who live in um, Cincinnati, so I go and visit them pretty often, actually. I was just up there a few weeks back. I always liked Ohio. Oh, Blendy.
see. There's like little specks of yellows in this snout. I put those in. I assume you were quoting from a song there. The video's freezing up. Yeah, it takes a while to get there, Trusted. Plus, my video is like on some serious lag here. It kind of sucks. I don't know. Is there something I can do about it? If this crashes, I apologize, but I'm going to try to adjust it. So it won't let me change my settings. See if that does anything. Might lose my stream here. We'll see. Well, it does look like everything's frozen up, so. I don't know. Maybe it'll recover. I'll just keep pressing on. No, it broke. Let's see. Bear with me one moment. Well, let me see if I can get my video back. It looks like everything's frozen. One second. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Yeah, I might just have to call this one short. Like, this is all messed up. There you go. Let's see, how's that look? All right, so that's back. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to mess with this without breaking it. That's fine. See if I can change that. I go with that. See if that helps. 
and okay there. All right, so this looks weird. All right, let's see if that catches up. I don't know. I think I broke it, but we'll see. If you guys are still here, sorry about that. If it continues to mess up, I think I'll just uh, call it short, but hopefully I'll recover. Looks a little blurry. Oh, well. Next stream, I'll have everything, all my ducks in a row and get things worked out and do a test stream and all that stuff, make sure things work. Hey, welcome back, uh, Marble. Having a little video issue, so I don't know if I'm going to continue streaming tonight, but if it recovers, I'll keep going. Looks looks like it may, I don't know. It's kind of choppy. Just keep trucking on and see how it goes. Uh, either my computer is overheating or my uh, my camera is. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. Yeah, my technology is. Yeah. Cheap laptop, cheap camera. Uh, worst part is I've got better computers in the house. I think that's what I'll do is I'll just switch to a better computer for next one. It does look like it's improved a little bit, maybe? I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't like my dog. <laughs> doesn't like my dog picture. It's like, I reject this picture. Well, worst case, if, if things don't work out, I'll um I'll end up posting this at some point. So you guys can see what the finished product looks like. It does look like it's recovered a bit. Let me see if I can adjust this other camera. Oh well. Yeah. I think the computer just doesn't like the two camera deal. Maybe I'll just turn myself off. There you go. See if that doesn't improve things. You guys don't need to look at me. See my hands. Hey. Let's keep building the dog. Let's see, I think. The bottom of his mouth comes up like this. It kind of looks off like this.
So far it comes to here. Yeah. This part 